All right, guys. 2020 389 stand up. This one is radiant red with black cherry fenders. And uh, I want to address something real quick. I get a lot of calls. And I got my good buddy Jorge Perez visiting from New Jersey today. And anyway, so um, I, when I when I talk to you guys and you call me about availability on a truck, and and uh, myself or any other salesperson for that matter, when we talk to you about a deposit on a truck, we want to make sure that you understand that it's not a hard sell. Uh, we're not trying to close you or get you to do something that you wouldn't want to do. Um, but. It's really important that we under, that we vet you guys and make sure that you're ready to buy. And I had a really good guy that I was talking to and he missed out on a nice truck. And I, I hate for that to happen to any of my customers where we get a truck sold out from underneath us, but it just happened to me today. And so, you know, if you guys have questions about how to do a deposit on a truck and how to hold a truck so that we can work through your financials, um, I'll try to give that to give that to you the best way I can so that you don't feel like you're un, you're under unnecessary pressure okay because we understand it takes time to put to put things together so anyways back to business here just like any other truck this is a x15 565 horse 2050 torque um, this truck is again it's a 2020 it's got your jumper post up here on this truck it is a non air ride front suspension on this one disc brakes front to back 280 wheelbase straight stacks on this truck full chrome I'm doing a couple trucks where we're taking this off and we're making it basically a strapless and we've also uh, we'll chop an air cleaner down and make it a little shorter makes the air cleaners look pretty cool so simple little things that you can do make your truck customized they're very non-expensive there's a lot of creative guys out here you guys are all giving me some really awesome ideas on some things to do so Kissling battery disconnect 100 gallon tank this side 150 gallon the other side 22.5 rubber this one does have the S bar heater one guy thought that was funny that I called it a tally whacker. That's kind of old school. M710 rubber, Bridgestones. Low leaf, Peterbilt air suspension. This one we did the oval and the cross member as opposed to the, um, the ones that hang down. It's about 50-50 on what you guys like on that. So, Holland fifth wheel. I think this one's a 24 might be a 36 actually single pass after treatment system it's all tucked up underneath there now real nice and clean I'm told that guys are getting on these new after treatment systems that they're not having to maintain them I not even have to do a cleaning I think for the first 400,000 miles but I'm gonna double check on that I'd be interested to see you guys who are running those single pass systems how they've been treating you how well you like them this one does have a heated driver's seat black leather black carpet in place of the standard carpet with the Arctic gray This one's not a complete full gauge truck, but you can add your gauges. That way if you want something, there's space for three. I have possibly a few build slots left on 389s and 567s, guys. So uh, I have a very, very limited time so if you got a spec you like and you need a truck by fall, I might be able to help you out. I'm not going to make any promises because I don't know exactly what your situation is. So feel free to give me a call. 
518-5520. Again, this one's an 18 speed, 336 rears. We did the rear cabinets on this one with the refrigerator. And I've been asked to go more slowly through the sleeper, but I've rushed that a little bit. So I have good lighting in this sleeper. I'm gonna go just a little bit more slow than I have in the past. I've ordered a couple of these trucks from uh, some of my good friends out in Yuba City, California, and they're um, they decided to take these out. They like the space just to move around. So on the business center, so there's your first compartment in the top of the business center. This slides out. Now if you want, you can put a swivel seat on this side and I don't know what you would do with the door, but I've had some guys, you know, who want to swivel around and sit in that chair to eat their meal. I'm sure you could either take the door off or maybe our body shop could make a modification for you. Just a Tupperware removable for clothes. And then here as well. And one more for canned goods or shoes or whatever you like. document holders and of course you have your closet and more storage bins there you go guys 2020 389 78 inch stand-up sleeper truck I have this and a couple other colors still available on the lot if you're ready give me a call 970 518-5520. If you like these videos, go ahead and click in the button in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe. We'd love to have you. Stay safe and we'll talk soon.